Hey crafty friends, it's Chelsea. Today's video, I have something a little bit different for you. Uh, usually when a new Close to My Heart catalog comes out, I always find a few things that I really like and I definitely wanna get. But this time with the new October, December catalog that launches October 1st, I just, there was a lot in there that I really liked. So I thought what I would do this time is do an unboxing with you, show you all the things I got and why they caught my eye. Let's go over my desk and have a look. Okay, here is my big box of goodies. Looking a little overstuffed because I did have a couple of different boxes come in and I just combined it all into one to show you. Yay! So many new fun things to play with. So exciting. Um, I think I'm going to set these aside for now and show you when I bring out the paper. Yes, we will start here. This is the Holly embossing folder and stencils. So I'll see, hopefully you can see this there. You can see it has like leaves and hollies and little branch with berries. And then these are layering stencils so that you can add different colors. And I just love the idea of layering stencils and having the options to easily and quickly color things up. I thought this would make Great backgrounds for cards. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. I would like to try some different combinations, color combinations, and then maybe different uh, colors of cardstock to emboss on and just kind of play around with different combinations and see what I can come up with. So I knew as soon as I saw this in the catalog that I had to get that. All right, we have the Snowflake Thin Cuts. I love snowflakes. I usually end up always making some kind of like snowy Christmas cards. So they're kind of like the flowers of winter for me. And if you guys watch any of my videos, you know I love flowers. So these were like a no brainer, definitely. Had to get those. I love how detailed they are. I would have probably liked another one that was a little bit smaller. And even this one could have probably been a tad smaller so that these were different sizes because I really like to cluster and layer them up but I can always mix in some stamping with this as well. Here is a layout that they show in the catalog where they've mixed in some of the new snowflake stamps with those thin cuts. And I love how that looks having stamped and die cut snowflakes all together. Although knowing me, I would probably cut those snowflakes out of glitter paper. Next we have this beautiful Merry Christmas. What's it called? Merry Christmas layers. So this die here cuts out a solid Christmas, and then this one here cuts out the outline so that you can have two different colors and layer this one on top of that one to kind of um, add some more definition to it. And then this one here says Mary. I love the large size of this. It's pretty much would need to be on like a slim line card or a layout. For size reference, this is an eight and a half inch long slim line card, and you can see it takes up a good portion of that card. And the reason I went for this was, I, I am a sucker for the standalone thin cut dies, but also I don't have anything like this in my collection already. So when I see unique things, I tend to pick them up and uh, hopefully I will get some good use out of it. This one here is actually from the core catalog. It's the slider thin cut. So this is for making like those penny slider cards. I thought it'd be fun to maybe do some Christmas like interactive cards. Uh, I haven't completely thought through that concept yet, but when I saw this in the core catalog a couple months ago, I knew eventually I'd want to pick it up. So I thought now was the time and I grabbed that one. Okay, more Stampin' Thin Cuts. This gorgeous deer, beautiful accessories. I love that this banner has four different sentiments that fit inside of it. This is called Christmas Reindeer. Everything that's in that kind of turquoise color has a thin cut. And uh, I can't wait to color this guy. I don't have a lot of deer in my collection. I have a couple, but nothing that is this size uh, or this kind of more realistic style. Next, I have another thing from the annual or the core catalog. Uh, I 
feel like I can never have enough greenery and I like that these are the stamps with the thin cut so I could like heat emboss these. Uh, I like to do clusters of like mixed greenery so some could be stamped, some could be die cut. Um, I'll show you in a second. I have another set that has a bunch of die cut greenery so I'm planning on hopefully mixing these together. It kind of goes along with my love of florals. There's anything like greenery as well really fits in with florals and I tend to collect them and I'm not ashamed about it. <laughs> a lot of these I also added uh, to my purchase list because of the 31 days of Christmas cards. Uh, if you're watching this by October 1st, uh, that's actually when the catalog goes live is October 1st. So you can start ordering that day. But that's also the last day to sign up for the Creative Design Team 31 Days of Christmas cards. And I wanted options for making all of my cards. I'm doing four classes. Basically, we post a different class every day in October in a private Facebook group. I will link everything down below so you can check it out. If it's October 1st or earlier, make sure you come over and sign up so you can join us for 31 videos in October. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, these both are stamp of the months. So this one has a bunch of really nice sayings. The one that I really love is this one. It's the most wonderful, and that's crossed out, exhausting time of the year, wishing you a long winter's nap this Christmas. Just thought that's so unique. And what I like about stamp of the month is with a $60 order, you can get it for $6.75. Or if you're a VIP, you can get it for free with a $60 order. Uh, this is the November stamp of the month, which is just, oh, it's gorgeous. These snowflake mandalas, there's gorgeous sentiments that I can see myself using over and over again. I like that some are like stacked and shorter, some are longer. Got a nice simple one that I think would look really good just as a little strip across the middle of that. Uh, I'm thinking heat embossing, coloring, fussy cutting, um, doing a background, doing a focal point. Like I have tons of ideas for this one. This one I'm thinking would look really good over even like a mixed media background and then having a big focal point. You can even just do layers of paper and then have this as your big focal point instead of having like an image as your main uh, decoration on your card. You could go with a large saying instead. This is another one that had me super excited. Again, florals, right? I love florals. It has the layering stencils, which is so awesome. One layer for the flowers, one layer for the greenery, and then one layer for the flower centers and the little berries. I'm going to be using this for one of my Christmas card classes in the 31 days of Christmas. I cannot wait to create with it. It's gonna be awesome. There's also uh, some really nice sentiments on here as well. So. Definitely, if you love florals, this is a must have. Now this one here is called Let It Snow and I thought it might help be helpful to just show you in the catalog the artwork for it. So it's really designed so that you can make snow globes and Christmas ornaments. Those are kind of the main two features. They've paired them up with just your basic circle thin cuts and this little mini circle shaker element. Uh, you can see the sentiments fit really good on circles, so it doesn't have to be an ornament or shaker. Any circle piece, these will fit really nice on. And then you can see the two different styles of greenery there to hang your little ornament hanger from. This has no thin cuts. This is all just stamps. There's the little village that can go inside the snow globe. You can also put your sentiments on top of the ornament or in the snow globe. And I'm sure there's other creative ways that you can use this. If I'm being honest, I really got it because I love the sentiments. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. I go for sets because I love the sentiments. Uh, but I know I will come up with other ways to use these too. And I think the artwork that's in the catalog is super helpful. All right, we're going to get into the workshop kits. This is the Cherish Card Making Workshop. I have not picked up the scrapbooking workshops. Each paper pack has a card making and a scrapbooking set. I started with the card ones first, um, mostly because I wanted the thin cuts in both of these sets. So this is a stamp and thin cut set that is only in the workshop kit. You can't buy these separately. And I loved this background. It fills up pretty much a whole card. 
There's nice sentiments. This U is also thin cuts. And you get all the paper you need, the glitter gems, the card bases and envelopes. And then what I think is one of the best things about the Close to My Heart workshops is you get this full color guide printed on nice paper. And here is a close up look at those cards that you can create. Doesn't that thin cut look so nice? So I have some ideas for that one. You can see in the guide, it shows you how to cut all your paper all labeled for you so you know what goes to what card and then all the stamping instructions coloring instructions all of that so then you can do all those steps and then just assemble your card and it even shows you how far everything is from the edge so that you can get placement so that it's pretty much exactly like the sample and then here is the uh, Christmas story card workshop and this is the one I was telling you about that had the greenery so this is the one I was thinking about using these greenery pieces and mixing with the stamped ones. There's also this little jar, which is super cute. And that's some really nice uh, sentiments that are good to layer up together. Uh, it's always nice to have things that are meant to go in smaller spaces. Sometimes I find I have lots of large sentiments, but not enough like tiny ones. So this was definitely the reason I got this card kit comes with gold shimmer trim and I'll give you a look at the cards really pretty all right the cherish paper pack I got I like to get the paper pack and sticker sheet usually this is gorgeous like dusty blues greens yellow I'm sorry if you can hear that whining that is my little wiener dog he is calling for attention. <laughs> oh, he's like, time to stop talking, mommy, and cuddle me. All right, there is the back side. Lots of pretty florals on this one. I love those soft colors. And these could work for anything. Like, there's so many different directions you could go with this for both uh, layouts and for cards. I think it's pretty open. You could go winter if you wanted to and combine some of those snowflake thin cuts. You can use the other side and go florals. And then of course the beautiful sticker sheet. This is gorgeous. There's even like some pine cones on here, some evergreen boughs. So you can make more like wintry floral clusters if that's a thing. Some border pieces, so pretty. I'm sorry if I'm starting to sound repetitive. It's so pretty, it's beautiful, <laughs> but it is. And that's why I ordered it. This is the Christmas Story Collection. So this is definitely my favorite Christmas collection out of the catalog. I love this pattern with the little like acorns and greenery and the bird and there's cinnamon sticks in here. And I love that dark background with those deep colors on top. I'm a big fan. And then this has greenery with some little stars in there. And then we have a very traditional like stripe pattern, a red with little dots. This definitely makes me think of like even doing um, older photos, you know, like childhood photos or photos from your parents or grandparents. This beautiful plaid. That is definitely a highlight for me in here. And then this little like vine kind of print on the gray. And the sticker sheet is gorgeous. Gold uh, foil accents, There's a nutcracker, bells, ornaments. Love these poinsettias. I could have taken like a whole sheet of those <laughs> and actually a stamp set that looks like this would also make me very happy. Uh, there isn't one, but if I could put my request in, that's what I would ask for. <laughs> All right, along with that collection, we also have the picture my life cards. I didn't get everything that I wanted so far. So like I didn't get the Cherish picture my life cards or the um, embellishments because I was mainly focusing on Christmas. I'll do a quick little flip through here for you. I love using these um, on like layouts, on cards. 
there's a variety of ways that you can use them and uh, it's just nice to have these extra patterns that coordinate with the paper. There's a good mix of journaling spots, of patterns and icons. That little bird. Love this one, it's so pretty. Oh, and then a big one. So sometimes they are a little bit different front to back. Sometimes they're the same and just the different orientation. Having memories. I think this would look really good in like a December daily. And I think this is probably the collection I am going to use for my December daily this year. Little popcorn and cranberries. Christmas morning, like that's perfect. I definitely want to use that card. Another plaid, a different plaid. Journaling, more nutcrackers. Okay, I think I finally stopped the dog whining noises. Apparently he locked himself in the bedroom. He was just trying to get my attention so he could get out. Oops. <laughs> he's so cute and he's so helpless. Uh, this is the Christmas Story Embellishment Pack. And let's see if I can pull this out. So, Close to My Heart is doing more paperboard, which I really like. It's a little bit thicker than um, cardstock. So this is just gold glitter paper. This is the paperboard, which is kind of like a really thin chipboard. And then I think, yeah, this is paperboard as well. Red and green. Might be hard for you to see all the pieces. So I'm just gonna grab the catalog. Okay, so here you can see them in the catalog and how they kind of layer up, like different colors go together. This is white acrylic on top of the gold glitter. You have the gold glitter on top of the black paperboard. So lots of combining, which I think is an awesome idea. You have acrylic with the red paperboard over top. So you can choose to layer them up if you want to, or you can choose not to, it's totally up to you. There's all the acrylic pieces. So I think that makes it a little bit more interesting and customizable. This collection also has a digital art collection, which is SVGs, and you can use that with any cutting machine, uh, which is really nice. If you don't own a Cricut, it'll work with your silhouette, your brother, all different machines. Okay, next up is the mix-in collection. I usually always grab at least one pack of the mix-ins because they are just like really good neutral patterns that will mix in with the other collections or stand on their own. So you get one sheet of each pattern, whereas the other paper packs, you get two of each pattern, which is why sometimes I get two packs. You can see these have a texture. Most of the pieces in here have this kind of textured print that makes it look like burlap or something like that. This I'm not sure we'll pick up. It's a very light um, kind of mist color or Seabrook color, I think, and it has all these splatters. And then there's a stripe on the background. And sorry guys, I haven't been showing you all the zip strips on all of these, uh, just cause I'm trying to keep this moving so it doesn't get too long. I know it's gonna be on the long side. This is like a red, with white, um, kind of like little chevron, kind of looks like stitching uh, pattern. A nice simple red check. A denim pattern, which is super awesome, I like that. And then also white wood grain. You can never have too much of wood grain in my opinion. This one has that fabric texture too and that nice little stitching. And then this one has like little cross stitches. And then we have the gray with white dots and a gray and white plaid as well. I have one more paper collection to show you, but I'm gonna show you the glitter paper that I picked up. I always like to make sure I have a good selection of glitter paper when I'm getting ready to do Christmas crafting because I always end up using it. This is Periwinkle, which is a new color. I'm guessing the camera will not do this justice, but it's a beautiful bluish purple. So I could definitely see snowflakes with this, um, any kind of like wintry theme. And you could use it for things all year long, but 
that was the first thing I saw with this was like winter snowflakes. It looks like there's a bit of silver mixed in, so it's kind of multi-tone. And I would say the same thing about the pine glitter paper. So both the periwinkle and pine are newer colors and they both look multi-tonal. This looks like there's some silver glitter in there as well and maybe a couple shades of green. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't look just like one solid color. And then of course, had to get some gold. I was pretty much out of gold, so I tried to stock up on my Christmas basics. And then Scarlet, which is a red that we've had for a while. And I wonder if I show you. So this is a color that's more like one solid tone. This is like just pretty much solid red. And so when I compare that to this green, maybe you can see it better that way, how this just looks a little bit more dimensional with more colors in there, if that makes sense. Okay, there is one more collection. Now this is separate because I signed up for the launch event, which is for makers only. And so I got this back in August. So I'm quick, gonna quickly show this to you as well, since it is part of the new catalog. That's why I didn't order any of this because I already had it. This is a super cute set. Uh, they're a pretty decent size. It is the scrapbooking set. So this is freshly baked scrapbooking and it has a little wire rack and then the little cookie stamps and the little decorating bag and then the little border with like the icing swirls. This is the coordinating thin cut. You can see that cookie rack. It's pretty good size. Uh, so that is that set. All of these collections have optional uh, matching cardstock, coordinating cardstock sets. I don't usually get them because I like to have packs of each color, uh, but if you're just wanting paper that matches a certain collection, that is a great way to go. Let's start with the sticker sheet. So there is the whole thing all together, and I'll bring it up closer. Border strips, lots of cookies and like baking utensils, milk, those are super cute, cookies on a plate. It's not the holidays without cookies. So definitely geared towards scrapbooking, but you could also use them for card making. Lots of little word strips. I love having word strips. And Isabella is just starting to get to the age where she's starting to bake with me or cook with me. So I definitely need to take some pictures along that line this Christmas when I'm doing my baking and uh, scrapbook those with this collection. So lots of baking. This is kind of like a baking collage, I think you would say. And then we have all the milk and cookies. This one is definitely a more subtle pattern. So we have all these different words, which actually this is a recipe. But if you're not looking super closely, you wouldn't know that. You just kind of read it as a text paper. A bold stripe pattern. Really pretty colors in this collection. And then a grid, which kind of reminds me of that cooling rack. And then fun polka dots. And then also the cute little embellishments. Close to my heart did this with the Crisp Air collection too, where they had um, kind of mixed embellishments on a sheet. That's kind of new, different sizes, different colors, different shapes. I think that's really cute. Some of these are glittery. Gives you lots of variation when you're creating. Okay, you guys, that is my haul. Let me know down in the comments, what did you think? What did you see that caught your eye? These are all things that caught my eye. If you haven't checked out the catalog yet, I will have that link down below as well as everything I showed you in this video. If it's not October 1st when you're seeing this, uh, it won't be linked yet, but once it's October 1st, I will make sure all the links are there. And also, if you wanna join us for the 31 Days of Christmas cards, you will see me using some of these supplies and coming up with different card ideas, uh, as well as a lot of the other creative design team members who are also using a lot of these supplies. So make sure you check that out in the description box below and also check out this video that's on the screen and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.